and I had just been outside five minutes before it hit, and a train had come through, and I told my husband, I said, man, that's weird, and he goes, what, and I said, that sounds like another train. Well, the next thing I know, I covered him up real good. My windows in my back bedroom started flying. I had branches and everything in the dining room. Uh, I just stood there and watched. I watched this house go up. I watched the roof go up down there. My car went up there. And then he come outside. There was a gas leak over here. And I couldn't grab him in time. He come out and he seen everything destroyed. He had just built me a carport. We had the house the way we wanted. And he come out and seen it was all gone. And he inhaled all that gas. And I got him back in the house. And he went into a heart attack. Couldn't get an ambulance through because of all the traffic and trucks and everything. So a real nice state cop from Pena took him to my daughter's house and the ambulance picked him up there and took him into the hospital. He was on a vent for like four days, five days. But we're so thrilled. We lost everything. And we're so happy to be back out here. This is where I was raised and this is where I wanted to come back to you. We surely could have probably got another home. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But this is my home. 